farewell to arms, a la Shmup. While many people bit the big one during World War I, mm -hmm. Ernest Hemingway managed to survive and use his experiences to pen one of his best known works, A Farewell to Arms. It's certainly a tearjerker, but some argue that it may be flawed. What? Is Hemingway's depiction of Catherine a bit <laughs> sexist? Get back here, you little punk. Well, let's start with a quick summary of the plot. Say hello to my cheesy friend. Frederick Henry is doing his part to help the Italians during the war when he meets Catherine Barclay. Hello, soldier. It's lust at first sight. After Frederick catches a mortar shell in the knee, he's sent to recuperate in Milan. Oh boy! And by recuperate, we mean uh, continue his pursuit of Catherine. By the time Frederick is healed enough to be cannon fodder again, he's in love with Catherine and, oops, she caught a severe case of pregnancy. Frederick and Catherine end up having to flee to Switzerland so the Italians don't kill him. And while you think it'd be all sipping hot cocoa and yodeling, Catherine goes into labor and dies. And the baby dies. And Frederick is left with nothing but a bum knee. I need a shower. Many critics think Hemingway was something of a misogynist, both in real life and in his writing. Well, I guess I do like massages. Catherine isn't the only female character created by Hemingway, who, while central to the plot of a story, never gets to share her viewpoint. Star of the book coming through. And never seems to do anything other than act as a device to spur the male protagonist to action. And let's face it, Catherine's death is awful. She undergoes the terrible pain of labor with no epidural, only to lose her baby and then die herself. Perhaps this was Hemingway's way of saying she uh, and all his female characters were expendable. They enter the story, affect change in the lives of their men, and then get booted off the stage. And then there's the dialogue. Oi. Gentlemen, try getting your girlfriends to read some of Catherine's lines and see if you don't get a big fat slap in the face. She pretty much says, on multiple occasions, that Frederick is the be-all and end-all of her existence and she is not a without him. Good night, Frederick. Of course, to Hemingway's credit, Catherine is a more complicated character than he needed to make her. Yeah, I am. Not only does she demonstrate that she's extraordinarily brave Take this! by traveling to a war zone in order to care for the injured, but she is also independent and take that too! and capable of taking care of herself. Also, her views on marriage are pretty complex. While she may tell Frederick that he's her religion and all she's got, Soul to the sad looking nurse. She doesn't exist just to do her man's bidding. I'm out of here. So what do you think? Was Hemingway super duper sexist? Or does Catherine's independence make up for her uh, abrupt exit? Bump amongst yourselves. Well, I guess I do like massages. <laughs>